Hello. Well, I'm standing next to some daffodils, but I'm not going to talk about those because these are cultivated daffodils, huge flowers, which, although lovely, are not our native daffodils. What I am going to talk about are the flowers which are down below me here, which are called butterbur, and they're very interesting plants indeed. Let's have a look. So here we are, Petasites hybridus. The Latin name Petasites um, comes from a Greek meaning a broad-leaved hat, presumably rather nicer than my rather tatty fedora, but that's the origin of the name. And uh, the name comes from the size of the leaves. We can't see those at the moment. There are some here, but they're only maybe nine, six inches wide. By the end of the summer, these will be maybe one and a half feet or even two feet wide. They are huge. And uh, uh, Gerard in his herbal remarks that they're very useful uh, if there's a rainstorm you can find some, pick a leaf, put it over your head and it keeps you nice and dry. That presumably is why the, it's named after a Greek hat. And you wouldn't think so to look at these but they're actually the daisy family. They don't look anything like daisies at all. Um, their closest relative in terms of a British flora is the coltsfoot. And of course coltsfoot bright yellow flower very early in the spring and it comes up well before its leaves and that's what um, butterbur does. You can see it has quite tall stems, they can get really quite tall, so, so tall, and uh, instead of having leaves down the stem it has these scales which are still pinky, same colour as the stem, greeny pink, and then once the flowers have finished um, the leaves will start getting to be really large. And the interesting thing about butterbur, apart from its name, and uh, the reason it's called butterbur is because the leaves were used to wrap pats of butter in because they were nice and big. But the interesting thing about butterbur uh, is that they're either all male or they're all female. And um, what's it, uh, really rather strange um, because in Northumberland the females are almost all only found on riverbanks, particularly on the North and South Tyne, whereas the males are found all over the place and you wonder how they reproduce. And there is a thought that they might in fact be introduced uh, up in Northumberland, they may not be native at all. Um, but it's worth looking at the individual flowers. And once you get them under a lens you can see that they're much more like, like a daisy, uh, heads of tiny little flowers. Um, so this is Butterbur, Petasites hybridus, flowers in the, in the early spring, late March, early April. By the time you get to May the flowers will all have gone and all you will see are the huge leaves covering the riverbanks.